have cables, so I don't see that. How long would you guess America will stand as a nation before it succumbs to either its own self-flagellation or to a foreign power if we keep destroying families through the VAWA Act and the um, CAPTA Act? I, I, well, you have the situation with the economy that people don't realize for an average home in California these days. I see things in my own hometown that you could buy, you used to be able to buy $9,000, $30,000, then it went up to seventy-five and a hundred. dollars Those things are now three quarters of a million dollars. This is insane. You tell me what young people can afford, afford that. There are a lot of people making money, however. Some of it's legal, some of it's illegal, in funny ways. So money, the values are gone. The education is bad. We must restore education. People don't know how to read. They don't know philosophy. That I mean, they, watch the Jay Leno show. I get a kick out of that. He, he wanders and asks these people on the street various questions, like who's, who's buried in Grant's tomb. They can't even answer that. <laughs> you know, they ask someone... Um, uh, they asked someone who the vice president was. They said, she said, give me a hint, give me the first name, I'll be able to finish it. So he said, Dick. She looks over her friends and goes like that. You know, some sexual innuendo. She had no clue, you know? I mean, it was just really funny. The, um, these people are stupid. I mean, they, she couldn't, asked how many flag, how many stars were on the U.S. flag that was flying. So she said, uh, that she couldn't say, and she said, how come you don't know how many flag stars are on the flag? She said, it's too windy, it's, I can't count them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, you know, and mind you, this is a college person, can you imagine? You had the fall and rise of the Roman Empire. We have that here, I, we have a money situation, so education is the first thing that has to be fixed. Stringent, stringent rules have to be put on. They go back to reading, writing, and arithmetic. My God. What about, what about getting rid of the government schools to get all together since they're doing such a lousy job and privatizing? Privatization would be a good idea. I believe in charter schools. I believe in... Um, oh, the vouchers. Vouchers, thank you. I couldn't think of the word for a minute. Yeah, um, they, have, they have to get some competition in there right now. The government doesn't have competition. Now, the other thing also is, uh, and, and the amount of money you spend per, <clears throat> per child does not guarantee the better education at all. And that's been shown study after study. Don't ask me the names of them, but I have read them, uh, from a few anyway. Now, the, um, the other thing is, is you have, with this inflation of housing and other costs, there's nothing backing the money. Most of the people running this country are foreigners, really, because they're the ones who were, who had been buying the dollar. The Arabs, they've started the, um, but they don't want to accept American dollars anymore because there's no value in there. Look at the dollar relationship to the, uh, to the euro, even, you know. Um, but they don't know, it, it's very weird what's going to happen. So, if the dollar falls, how are people going? If the interest rates go up, I mean, as soon as as soon as George is reelected, which he will be, because Kerry's no good, and there's no alternative. Well, there's bad Eric, The Libertarian Party's a constitutional scholar. Uh, well, I, 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 I've heard that, but I have not seen anything about this. You know, so that's not going to happen. Now, and Nader's not going to get anywhere. He's going to be another spoiler to a certain extent. I don't know. Maybe those people who vote for him wouldn't have voted at all, so he might not be totally... Wouldn't it be better to vote for a third party than to vote for Tweedledum or Tweedledum? Yeah. Without the media giving <clears throat> them the coverage, they're not going to. Then you'd have the ones. What you would have... Yes, it would be. In answer, yes. I'm going to give you a straight answer. Yes, it would absolutely be best to vote for your favorite third party for this reason. At least when the figures come in, one of the Tweedledee or Tweedledum will still be elected. One of them, one of those two will be will be elected. Bush or Kerry will definitely be our best, our our next president. But at least they will know if if there is a sizable third party vote, whether it's Nader, whether it's Libertarian, whether it's whatever. At least the the main parties will know that their numbers are decreasing and will decrease geometrically. Okay, it will put them on notice. 
that they will not be able to win in the same manner that they have done in the past because in a few years things can change dramatically. So yes, it is best to vote. And you might be surprised just how many votes a third party candidate would garner. So I think it would be a prop I think it's a very good idea to vote for your third party. To send that message to both sides, not only to the Democrats and Republicans, but also to other independents who are out there that hey look, if we do if we do go for our own men, we can win one day, so let's keep up, you know, organizing again. So I think that's important. Let me end with a joke for you here. Okay. And someone someone told it to me the other night. And that is, um, I don't know what it was a picture they saw with a capture in our cartoon, but I, I tend to think it was a picture. And it was a big burly man with tattoos, okay, on his arms. Long, flowing, magnificent beard, dressed, attired in a dress. He was standing in front of the judge, and he said, Can I see my children now, Your Honor? <laughs> Attorney Barbara Johnson, what a wonderful lady. A lady that sticks up for men's rights. Isn't that interesting? She obviously is not a lesbian. You know, there's a problem. When you have a lesbian judge, just by virtue of the fact she's a lesbian, tells you she's got issues with men. How then can she be a just judge between a man and a woman when just the fact that she's a lesbian, not Barbara Johnson, I'm talking about other judges that are in California, in Atlanta, Georgia, and other places, there's way out of proportion. There's way too many lesbian judges for the lesbian population. Something's wrong here. Somebody's got an agenda to get lesbian judges into office by appointment. Because if they had to run in an election like they're supposed to in California, they couldn't win. Well, I love that attorney Barbara Johnson. Isn't she the real McCoy? Uh, and she said it so well. She said it so right. You know, people make a big thing about 9-11. 3,000 Americans died. Every year, family courts destroy 100,000 families and do such irreparable damage to the relationship that they go on fighting for years. Every year, there's 100,000 uh, men and about 10,000 women locked up for failure to pay, failure to obey a court order, this and that, and it destroys the kids. Hundreds of thousands of kids being destroyed every year. Very good point, Barbara raises. Very good point. 